Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome back to Hashtag BSB. Now before I jump into this video, give it a thumbs up because you know you're going to like it. Subscribe to my channel and make sure to follow me on Instagram at Sincerely Rare. So in my last video, I talked about my time at Yale's Spring Ahead for Women event. In this video, I'm going to talk about my experience at Northwestern's Kellogg School of Management Women Leadership Workshop. So let's jump right in. So what exactly is Kellogg's Women's Leadership Workshop? Well, on their website, it says the mission of the Women's Leadership Workshop is to bring together high potential women to build a foundation of leadership skills that will enhance their personal and professional goals while encouraging them to explore new paths. Now how does one attend the Women's Leadership Workshop? What is their application and selection process like? In order to be considered to attend the Women's Leadership Workshop, you have to complete an application, submit your resume, and answer a few essay questions. Now the essay questions are fairly short, 100 word limit. In terms of accommodations, I booked my flight, I believe I booked Southwest, and it, it wasn't expensive at all. And for my Airbnb, I was searching for just a private room. I was by myself, so I don't need an entire apartment, entire house. Like that was too much and it was far out of my budget. So I booked a private room with a student who was actually a Kellogg MBA student. I believe she was a second year at the time. And funny story, as I was checking out, I'm literally jumping, jumping the gun here, but uh, I, I can't wait to tell you the story. So as I was checking out, she asked me a few questions about my stay and I'm just like, okay, this is weird. Like Airbnb hosts don't typically like they're not typically this conversational and uh, they don't ask you about your stay basically asking you for a review before you even check out and like have time to input everything on the website like Airbnb asks for the review not the host so I was a little thrown off by that I asked her like why are you like asking me all these questions um, because I was curious and uh, she informed me that I was basically a lab rat <laughs> basically a lab rat and that her class was actually doing an experiment like a market research project on Airbnb and I'm just like wow but you know going back into Kellogg now I want to talk about my experience at the women's leadership workshop I decided to come in a day early uh, because I noticed on the agenda there wasn't room for a class visit and whenever I visit a school I like to make sure I can squeeze in a class visit somewhere uh, so I came in on Thursday, the event was on a Friday and Saturday. I came in for a campus visit actually. Uh, I, got a t I got a tour of the Kellogg School of Management building. They provided lunch. We also had an info session where we had time to ask any questions uh, that we want to or didn't get a chance to uh, during lunch. And there was also an additional tour uh, for the people who couldn't make it for the morning tour. But instead of doing the afternoon tour, I decided to do a class visit and the professor whose class actually sat in on uh, was Professor Julie Hennessy. She was also a part of the itinerary for, for Thursday. So sitting in, on, in her class a day early and actually seeing her in her wearing her teacher's hat like in an actual in an actual classroom uh, was a great experience now the schedule was really jam-packed and I'm not gonna sit here and talk through every item that was on the agenda so what I will do I will provide a link to the 2016 that I went to in my description below so you guys can refer to it and see exactly what was covered or what was talked about what I'm going to do now is jump into my favorites so my Friday favorites were the personal branding workshop that was led by Professor Hennessy, the professional panel that touched on human capital and social capital, and also the value-based leadership workshop. Those three were my favorites of Friday. And I will jump back to the personal branding uh, session. That was by far my favorite because Professor Hennessy provided a couple tips on how to use our personal brand to ace an interview, whether it be a college whether it be a business school interview or even a job interview. So I found those tips to be very helpful and I do incorporate them into uh, my everyday storytelling and also uh, my interviews. So for my Saturday favorites, I'll say this was, the, this was actually my favorite day of the two days. Our keynote speaker, 
is our was my first favorite activity. Sharice Ford, she's a CMO at Pandora. During her speech, she did a presentation on pivotal decisions during her life or career post MBA. And even as someone who just has a bachelor's, like I found her pivotal decisions, her way of maneuvering through those decisions, very relatable to what I'm experiencing right now or what I've experienced in the past since graduating from NJIT. The next favorite um, segment of the day was the financial presentation put on by Erin Dopel. She stressed budgeting, saving, uh, doing more, and doing better. I know. I'm doing better at budgeting, but I suck at saving, and that's something I really need to buckle down on because business school is right around the corner. Another segment of the program that I really appreciated was the values exercise. We were broken up into groups and given decks of paper strips that had different values on each strip. There were, I want to say, maybe like 50, and we had to pick our five core values and then if you wanted to add supplemental uh, values under that you could but you just the basis was you need to come up with five core values and how they align with your goals so something special for you guys I'm actually going to share what my values are and how they align with my goals so this notebook I have right here is a notepad that they gave us during the women's leadership workshop uh, and as you can see like these all have notes on them. I took more more than half of this notebook was used for notes. That's how many notes I took during the entire session. Uh, but going back to the values exercise, so the question I asked, I had to ask myself was how do my values align with my goals? So my five values are inner peace, spirituality, adventure, purpose, intimacy. And my goal that I wrote down uh, was social impact and bringing change to my community. So in my explanation, I said that inner peace, purpose, and spirituality will help me achieve my goal and guide me along this journey. This journey being the adventure. Intimacy aligns with the art of storytelling, you know, telling people my story and also connecting with others. Now for the last of my favorites, and this one kind of really hit home for me, was the self-reflection letters. We were asked to write ourselves letters and just give ourselves words of encouragement, at throw in some positive affirmations, some motivational uh, quotes, anything, talk about your experience, like kind of reinforce what you learned uh, during the workshop. Anything that you think you need to read or want to read three months from the day you wrote the letter. Uh, so they told us, well they gave us um, a piece of paper and an envelope and on the envelope we were asked to write our address and that they would be mailing out all of our letters to us three months from that day uh, so that was in May and I received the letter toward the end of August so toward the end of the summer when most people typically start their business school applications uh, is when we all received our letters in the mail so overall my experience at Kellogg's Women, Women's Leadership Workshop was phenomenal. Hands down, one of the most meaningful uh, workshops that I have attended at a business school to date. And not just because it's Kellogg. Kellogg is a great school. It has, it's on, it's at the top of my list. I'm not even gonna front. Um, and it has a lot of the components that I'm looking for in a business school. Except it's not a consortium school, but mm, all the other attributes are so strong that I gotta overlook that and I gotta dish out that $300 or however much the application is when I finally apply. Uh, but still, Kellogg is a great school and it has everything I'm looking for aside from the fact it's not a potential. The programming in itself was very inspiring, very meaningful and touching. A lot of the topics are topics that I either needed to hear topics that I'm struggling with, or topics that I wanted to learn more about. So they really hit it on the nail with their agenda uh, for the 2016 year. And as I said, the self-reflection letter really brought it home for me. I typically write myself notes in my phone all the time on this chalkboard wall that y'all actually can't see. Um, I have positive affirmations the way I see myself, messages to myself. 
Uh, so just writing myself that letter and like having a school like really like care enough about our progression, our growth to advise us to write a letter to ourselves, adding um, a recap of like the event, any motivational uh, phrases or quotes or things that you learned during the program to put that all in letter form so you can read it and remind yourself of this event months down the line uh, really says a lot. So I'm just going to wrap it up here before I go on a tangent about like how great 2016's Women's Leadership Workshop was. Um, and just say, in the next episode of Hashtag BSB, I'm going to be talking about my experience at the University of Rochester's Diversity Weekend. In the meantime, if you have any questions or comments about my time at Kellogg, for those who still don't know, Kellogg is Northwestern's business school. So if you have any questions about my experience there, or if you too have gone to a diversity weekend or uh, went to or attended a women's leadership workshop in the past or this this past uh, workshop that was in 2017, definitely share your experience below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up because I'm sure you enjoyed it. And also, going back to subscriptions, when you subscribe, make sure you tap the bell so you get notifications on when I upload a new video. Till next time, bye guys!